at a moment when the whole market has gone from being relatively benign to absolutely malicious over the course of one brutal week. It's worth remembering that there's still some winners out there. You just need to know where to look for them. Take Click Technologies, and that's symbol Q-L-I-K for all you home gamers, the high-quality provider of big data analytics software for the enterprise. Now, we know that the big data theme remains very much alive and well. We talk about it all the time. And Click is looking like a terrific way to play it. With the stock up a quick 13% since we last spoke to the CEO in April, not to mention giving us a 40% gain since the interview we had in March of last year. Click software is all about creating a user-driven intelligence platform that allows the people who are actually making the decisions at a company to access and analyze their own data directly, rather than forcing them to be holding to their IT department for help. Like That's traditional data analytics. And Click just reported yet another terrific quarter last Thursday. It was uh, with the company delivering higher than expected sales, up 11% year over year, and up 26% on a constant currency basis, management giving better than expected full year guidance. Even though Click missed Wall Street's earnings estimates by a penny, the fact is this bullish revenue forecast, which is what matters for this company, was enough to send the stock soaring from 37 to 40 in a single, by the way, brutal session. So let's check in with, with Lars Bjork. He's the president and CEO of Click. To hear more about the quarter and his company's prospects, Lars, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to Thanks, see you, sir. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Uh, I think a lot of people like, you, you want to look at traditional metrics and say, okay, what did they earn? I look at what can be the future in a revenue-based company. Correct. You signed a deal which could, I think, bring in potentially 500000 thousand new uh, clients with uh, Aphis Software. Tell me about that deal because it seemed to be the biggest thing that happened this quarter. It sure was. So Aphis Software is an ERP vendor in the Dutch speaking part Enterprise of the world. Enterprise resources. Yeah. And uh, what they're going to do is embed our tool into their offering, roll it out to 7,000 customers or over half a million users. It's a phenomenally good uh, attraction point for us. Now, how do you get compensated for that? Are you as soon as you, as as they uh, buy it, they, or do you get compensated, or do they have to take more product? So it's uh, a big chunk up front and future revenue streams as well. But the great thing about it is this is ring-fenced to one application. If the customers want to do something outside of that source, they have to come back to us, and we're happy to come back and upsell. Now, you use a phrase in all of your documents, collective human intelligence. And if you could explain that to people, I think it would really help them understand what a cloud-based collective human intelligence company can do. So there's an enormous amount of focus on analytics, but you tend to forget that there's a human behind it that's going to make decisions. What if we collectively in an organization use the same platform, the same data sets, mm -hmm. and we together make a decision? That's what we think are the important thing. It's not the single point of just one right. decision maker. All right, so for Planet Hollywood calls you in. Yeah. What do they need you for? So what they want to do is a chain of restaurants. They want to take financial reporting out to the mobile, another big trend in analytics. You want the actual restaurant to see the financials on site, on time. So a manager has an iPad and yes. looks at it's or, seeing... Or a smartphone. Or a smartphone and yeah. looking to see how they're doing versus others or oh. how they're doing at that moment. How they're doing versus others, how they're doing versus budget, how they're doing versus other KPIs. So in other words, it's not one of those things where you wake up in the morning and you get a run. No, 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 no. That's you're, the old days, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. You've got to be on the iPad. Or you've got to be on the actual information, or I think you're out of the game. Okay, so in this quarter, you signed seven deals of over one million, which is yeah. a lot. Uh, now, there are a lot of different examples of what you get uh, of, of different companies that sign, but what are the kind of deals that are a million dollars, and what do they get for a million? So you take a big financial institution in New York okay. that want to roll it out to more users in wealth management or trading, literally what you get is you get more users, more applications, and more insights into your business. I think what you have to realize is a lot of companies are struggling with tons of data. Right. How do you get insight into the data? How do you make it readily available for all the users? We take an approach where we have the platform where you can get started very easily, mm -hmm. but you can grow with us for a long, long, long time. Okay, I have to ask my alma mater, what do you do for Harvard? What we do for Harvard. For, for these colleges yeah. when you get... What is, what, so what, both because of, they tend to not be that savvy about money. No, but they raise a lot of money, and you need to... Con <laughs> and, and, and you got to take control of that money. <laughs> they also have an administrative side of their business. Right. And that's what we help them with. Okay. Um, I, I thought that one of the things that... We met Watson. Okay, that was IBM. Yep. And Watson is also doing that kind of wealth management... Uh, you get the analytics yeah. and things. Does he, are you up against Watson? I think Watson is still early days. We've seen it in the market, yeah. but really we have, we're not up against them now. 
not up against Watson. Right. All right, fair enough. Well, okay, there's Lars Bjork. He's the president and CEO of Click with a great quarter, but more importantly, a lot of revenue coming forward because of that terrific contract with Atlas Software. After the break, I'll try to make you more money. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.